So I've always loved these cool mid-century modern style chairs. I also love this trend of this minimal utilitarian style, especially for like presentations. And now that Kittle has multiple artboards, meaning you can make presentations and slide decks with as many slides as you want, all in one endless canvas, I decided to take these two things that I like and put them together to make a single presentation. And just for fun, we're gonna show it to Drew and get his reaction. <laughs> well, let's get into it. After Drew helped me figure out how to use StreamYard, it was time for me to go find the chairs I wanted to use for this project. And I definitely came across some familiar ones. Oh yeah. This boy is definitely leaning. An 8 out of 10. <coughs> After a minute or two of searching, I found a list of the apparent top 50 most iconic chairs in some blog, and this was a great place to start. Most of them I had never seen before, so I felt like I was losing my chair enthusiast card a little bit, but that's okay, because some of these didn't really look that great to me, including this very, very weird red sack looking one that was $3,400. This did, however, lead me to another chair that was cooler looking and obviously had to be twice the price, though I was impressed by the amount of fabrics you could choose from. That's a lot of fabrics. And at some point, Drew's stomach made a noise extremely close to the huh? sound effect. <laughs> <laughs> and after that quick laugh, I spent way too much time on this website just because of how awesome it looked. I'm not a web designer by any stretch of the imagination, but I do appreciate a super clean, minimal utilitarian looking website. I also ran across the same chair that Drew uses. I also found this plastic chair, the stubby chair, and sheepskin chairs. The listing also said sold, so evidently somebody had $16,000 to drop on a sheepskin chair while I'm just over here, you know, making car payments like a chump. But I'm gonna have to go back through and get all of the names of these and all of the prices and descriptions for this presentation. At this point, I had already been recording for like 45 minutes, so I really needed to turn the burners on and get this finished. It was finally time to jump into Kittle and start actually designing some stuff with all of the chairs that I had collected, which if you didn't already know, we finally released multiple artboards as well as an endless canvas, which basically means that you can just copy and paste as well as option drag artboards just like you can with elements. You can rearrange them however you'd like on the canvas, you can name them, and you still have the ability to edit individual elements on each artboard. Multiple artboards has been the most highly requested feature since day one, so we were super happy happy to get this out there. If you want to know more about this feature or have any questions, click the video in the top right that goes over every detail that you need to know about this new feature. The presentation was coming along nicely and I felt like I was finally making some good progress. I also made sure to add the price of each of these chairs to each slide to get Drew's reaction as to how expensive they are. The multiple artboards were running super smooth which was awesome and if I had done something like this in Photoshop would I have more flexibility? Sure, but let's be honest, something like this would have probably already started lagging at this point. The remove background feature also did super well, which was imperative since most of these were JPEGs or PNGs with a white background that absolutely needed to be removed so that I could have the chairs lay on top of my text and some of the elements as well. Something else that was super helpful was keeping my main title text left aligned as well as all of my four corner elements in the same place to give it a sense of cohesion throughout the entire presentation. This way I could add just enough variation with each different kind of chair as well as the price and a little text box, but not too much variation to where it becomes distracting throughout the presentation. I was about halfway through at this point and I was just very, very pleased with the performance of multiple artboards at this point. I hadn't experienced any lag or delay or frustration. One thing I definitely didn't want to mess up was making sure that the dots on the bottom right corner of the slides matched the number of what slide they were on. I had been at it for about an hour at this point, so I was starting to get a little fatigued. But I kept going. After a while, I was finally on my last slide. Obviously, I had to end with a bang, so I chose the Barcelona chair, which ended up being the most expensive one, over $8,000. Pretty wild. I also decided to make these dots in the bottom right only 10 slides and not 12 because 
I wanted to be done with this. So I went through all my slides and just chose the last two dots and got rid of those and replaced the text in the bottom right so that it still filled that space. Now I just need to download all of this and put it in a presentation and uh, show Drew. I have put together a presentation for you. All right. On chairs. Okay. On chairs. On chairs. Collection of cool and most likely outrageously priced chairs. And this was all made in Kittle, right? This is all made in Kittle. Okay. Minimal utilitarian style okay. using multiple artboards. Cool. Okay. So the first chair, we have the Aero Saarinen Tulip Chair. This chair is $1,600. Why? <laughs> I mean, it looks cool. But I also- Is it $1,600 cool? No. <laughs> I mean, for like a restaurant. But I also noted that it's starting at only $130 a month with a firm. You can do that. You can finance this chair if you want to. A, a restaurant is not going to like order a hundred of those chairs for sixteen eighty four a piece. You'd be surprised I at how much how be. expensive chairs are at like restaurants and stuff because they want to order stuff that doesn't break. Second chair. This is the Eames molded plywood chair. Eames. Very very yeah Eam. <laughs> very very famous. Is this chair. a real chair? Yes. No. This is real. Not AI. No. This is real. I did AI chairs, but this this is this is real. This one is fourteen hundred dollars. The price sort of makes sense because this looks like like a Ron Swanson chair that he Original. Only makes like once yeah. a year or something. Yeah. Yeah. So this one is eighty eight dollars a month if you want to finance it. Also, you, you you might notice my little progress bar. It's a down payment on a vehicle. Fourteen hundred dollars. Yeah, like on a yeah. on a, a small. Vehicle. I would do it. Boop. The Eames oh, the, Lounge. Yeah, these are nice. Yes, these are that that's that's a vehicle right there. This is eight thousand dollars. Yeah, but you can enjoy free shipping on orders over fifteen hundred. So this would be right in right in there. You could get this shipped to you for free. You wouldn't have to pay for shipping on um on this. I mean, it's really cool, but I mean, yeah, it's not. This this is your birthday gift next year, actually. It's not progress bar. Yeah, no. Pretty cool. Womb chair, one hundred and eighty three dollars a month, forty two hundred dollars. But it looks nice. I don't like it. I, I think it looks cool. You wouldn't sit in that. Look, it's even got like little molds for your for your arm. Spacey. Mm. That's cool. Armchair, sixty seven hundred. But again, telling you, you can enjoy free shipping right. on orders over fifteen. Yeah, I mean, I can, I can see like a high class bar having like two or three of those. Yeah. For like the the club members or something. Yeah. You ready? Number six. What the heck? Pretty fire. Is this this all from the same website that'll give you fifteen hundred dollar free shipping? A lot of them are from the same website, but I found these on a top fifty most famous chairs blog post. Okay. Oh yeah. That's for you. Yeah, that's worth. You're that. sitting. You're sitting in this right now. Yeah. That's worth every every cent of that of that chair. And you can get it with, well, that's the newer one because it's got the newer back, but you can upgrade that. You can have the little head thing that comes up. That that chair you could throw out of your second story window and it will still work, I think. This is an advertisement, pretty fire. I mean, you, you advertisement? You, you, no, I'm saying like you could use this as an advertisement. If you made oh. like the price a little bigger and then maybe this a little bigger, like that'd be fire. Hopefully they don't steal it from you without pay me up this. <laughs> Yeah, one chair. Give me one chair and you can have this. Oh my, that looks like a cat scratcher, bro. It's made out of cardboard. That will be utterly destroyed. Nowhere close to worth 1805. It's sick. I would, I would, I want that. You would have it somewhere where no pets exist. Yeah. Yeah, I, but I don't want any pets. But members save up to 20% and you have free shipping over $35. So you're well above. So they the do sell $35 cat scratchers, and this is just the ultimate one. No, this is the this is the Vitra. No, this is the ultimate Vitra Gary Wiggles Wiggle side chair. <laughs> do you hear yourself? That's what it is. Okay, Eames. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, these are are really popular. Yeah, so I like that. I don't know if it's worth 545 for the construction you have a of the lot chair that's if... going below that thing, but it's fine. It's good. It looks like a lamp. Starting at $50 a month. I actually really like this. They sell cheaper versions of this on Amazon. Then that's what I see a lot then. Yeah. Oh, man. We're ending on a banger, but look at the price. Uh, Yeah, I, don't, I mean, I would never have that, but I would like to sit in it. I would like to know the person that has that is what I'm saying. You, you think you would like to sit in this? Yeah. Oh, it yeah. comes with a with a um feel, I an would ottoman. Feel very powerful in this chair, I think. Yeah, it comes with an ottoman. Good chair name too. Barcelona. Excellent. Imagine paying two. Not really any connection to that. Imagine paying two hundred eighty-two dollars a month for this chair. It's a car payment. Yeah, that's more than my car payment. Yeah, it's bad. 
Yeah. Okay, that's it. All right. Thank you. All right. Yep. That's all for this video. Thank you so much for watching. I'm planning on making another video specifically on the minimal utilitarian style. What like what encompasses this style? What are the aspects of it? How can I add this kind of style to my tool belt? How do I know what it is? How do I spot it? How do I make it? If you haven't used Kittle yet, we have a promo code for you in the description of this video. But if you don't want to worry about all that right now, you can also just sign up for free. Multiple artboards basically has been the biggest feature update since we launched and got out of beta. Definitely go give it a try. If you have any questions, there's also this video or I'll link right here that Drew did that explains multiple artboards further in more detail. Like, comment, subscribe. Go try this out for yourself and we will see you in the next one.